People in the Bemidji area may have noticed the ride-sharing app Lyft is available on their phone, but potential drivers may need to check with the city before hitting the road. Lakeland News reporter Sherelle Moore spoke with the city's deputy clerk about city code. Bemidji may not have Uber yet, but if you download the Lyft app, you can now request a ride. The app became available in the area earlier this month. While the city says it's great that folks in the area will have more ride options, potential drivers must still follow some rules. We looked at our code and um, we licensed taxi cab drivers and under the personal transportation service, we felt like we could um, license those drivers under that. In order to operate as a Lyft driver, the city says you must obtain a license, which is $45. You also have to pass a background check, which is $20. Finally, the Bemidji Police has to inspect your car. Safety um, for our patrons and um, citizens so that we know that they are in a reliable vehicle. The process in becoming a Lyft driver through the app is similar to the city's, except there are no fees. I think I had to do my social security number. I had to give them my driver's license. I had to upload a picture of my license plate. Um, of my insurance, um, current insurance card, and then I had to do a 13-point check of my vehicle. Now, signing up to become a Lyft driver is actually pretty simple, and it's a great way to make some extra cash. But the city warns if you don't follow their rules, it could result in a penalty. I mean, it's possible that they could be pulled over if they're being shown as um, providing transportation, and then they would be asked if they're licensed, and if they're not, I mean, they could potentially receive a citation. LeBlanc says she reached out to Lyft about the city's ordinance. She says she was told that if she does get a citation, she should send it to the company. I contacted Lyft and they said, no, all your stuff is through us. Um, there shouldn't be any um, anything on top of that through your city because you're contracted through us and all your information is through us. We checked the city code. It currently does not mention Lyft and Uber drivers, but the city says they're working on changing that by the end of this year. There is an ordinance update in the process for transportation network companies, which is actually what Uber and Lyft are, and that way we can develop the, the um, application process and the fee schedule that would apply, and, and each company would apply for that. Reporting in Bemidji, Shaw Moore, Lakeland News. We contacted Lyft to ask about the city's driver rules. They haven't gotten back to us yet, but we will update the story on LPTV.org with the response if we receive one. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.